So, we're just going back now? That's true, but... Traveler, Paimon, please wait. Winnie... I know you may not want to speak to me right now. Maybe you don't even want to look at me. But still, let me thank you again for defending me to the end, even after you learn that I'm a member of the Fatui. I guess. But regardless, I'd like the opportunity to set things straight. I didn't approach you with any ulterior motives or ill intent. I've spoken to you as myself, just plain Linny, this entire time. As for why I'm a Fatus, it's because the goals of the House of the Hearth align with those of an orphan like me. That's all. That was how Father, who you might know as the Knave, approached recruiting us back then, too. The Knave? The one who controls the House of the Hearth? She's your father? That's right. And since we're here, I was wondering... Would you mind hearing a story? It's about my past. Back when our parents first died, Lynette and I were left wandering the streets. To survive, I took to surreptitiously observing an older street performer who did magic. It took me several days to figure out how he pulled off his amazing tricks. I took my sister through several streets until we found a crowded corner, and we began to perform magic tricks there. To my surprise, we proved to be pretty popular, and we could at least stop worrying about where our next meal would come from for a time. But I didn't want my sister to remain a street rat together with me forever. Before long, an aristocrat came to me and claimed that he wished to take us in after watching my performances. So you went from orphans to nobility just like that? That was how we felt at first, too. As if fate was on our side and we could say goodbye to those painful days. But I gradually discovered that while we were called foster children, he was really after my talent for magic tricks. He would constantly take me to all sorts of banquets to garner attention, which he would then use to expand his social circles. That doesn't seem too bad either. Better than roaming the streets, at any rate. <laughs> it took a while for me to realize just how dark his heart really was. After one particular performance at a banquet, I discovered that Lynette was not on the same return vehicle as me. I waited a long time after we returned home, but she did not come back. I went to that noble's bedroom and asked him about her whereabouts. The answer he gave me was... She caught the eye of the most eminent person at the banquet, so I sent her over as a gift. I mean, you'll be able to perform your magic regardless of who your assistant is, yes? Oh no. So he was gonna... <sighs> but wouldn't Fontaine's laws deal with such people? As far as outsiders are concerned, this is a relationship akin to adoption or foster care, and they have their ways of escaping the eye of the law. I managed to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person and hurried through the night. But by the time I leaped over the walls, avoided the guards, and made my way in, all I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood and the knave standing there in the darkness. So, she'd already taken care of that guy. That's right. She had rescued my sister before she could come to any harm, and had even discovered several girls hidden in a basement, all of them orphans. Father, I mean, the knave, might have seen something in me, and so she made me an offer. The House of the Hearth welcomes you, for your interests align with ours. Here, none will ever betray you. Indeed, betrayal shall never be permitted here. I was hesitant to trust her. I mean, I had just been betrayed by nobles. But she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken us in at first, giving us back our freedom. Oh, so that's how the two of you joined the House of the Hearth. 
she has her own plans. She has gained permission from the Sarita to first use the Gnosis's power when she obtains it. She plans to use it to find a way to break the prophecy and save Fontaine. So, she believes in that prophecy too? That's right. The whole House of the Hearth is currently working to combat that crisis. Today's case has also proven that people from Fontaine can indeed dissolve into some sort of water, thus further supporting the prophecy. All of us house members here, Lady Arlecchino herself included, are from Fontaine. We won't give up on defending our homeland. To us orphans, the only connection we have left to this world, apart from our family, is our homeland. So, from small deeds like distributing magic pockets, to huge schemes like sealing a Gnosis, everything is aimed at dealing with that prophecy. It's all right, I understand. The only thing I can do is relate all this to you. I just hope you can understand that even as a member of the house, I have never stopped making my own decisions, and that I believe what I'm doing is right. If you should need anything at all in the future, feel free to find me. I will do my best to help you, as plain Linny. Hey there! What was with the disappearing act you pulled right as the trial ended? Were you looking for us, Navia? Well, this whole thing isn't exactly over, is it? I do feel that we're getting closer to solving the serial disappearances case, though. Don't you think so, too? Huh? What's wrong, my dear partner? We're the ones who can crack a case that's been cold for decades now? And given that there's new evidence from the trial, there should be a trail of breadcrumbs for the Hydro Archon's people to follow now, right? Ah, I see. Well, I won't lie. I'm a little shocked to hear that from you. But I suppose you are just travelers who have only arrived in Fontaine after all. Sorry. I might have been too presumptuous. Don't say that now. Aw, oh, and we were having so much fun investigating with you, too. It was like having new waters flowing into a stagnant mire, causing new hope to spring forth and the reflection in the murk to become clearer. Uh, 
Sorry about that. I'm a bit prone to nostalgia. Don't mind me. Wait, shall we have a farewell meal? You know, to commemorate our time as partners? Huh? Do we really need to get that formal? Uh, well, guess you really did treat us as partners, huh? Well, i just like to have a proper ending to every important memory. That way there are no regrets later. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it shouldn't take up too much of your time. You don't have to twist my arm's arm! If Boss Navi is treating, can't play mine in! Oh, wonderful! In that case, why don't we return to the Court of Fontaine and head to the Hotel de Boer? I believe we'll make it just in time for dinner. Alright then, let's have our farewell meal! Yeah. <laughs>